Hello, Richard here. I just wanted to do a quick video because since we moved to Easify version 5 and we now support multiple monitors, uh, one or two of you have had a few problems with Windows getting lost and hidden. And that's partly because of the way Windows works. Windows doesn't generally handle multiple monitors all that well. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video showing you how to reclaim your lost Windows if it happens to you. If you, if you click on something in Easify, and nothing happens and you can't see a window, it could be that it's just hidden somewhere. So I'll just show you a quick way of getting around that. What you do, if let's say you've clicked on a product window and it's notable by its absence, go down to the taskbar and you'll find you've got Easify. And if you hover over it, you'll probably see both of the windows. You'll see the main Easify window and the hidden products window, even though the products window is off the screen. It could be that if one of your monitors is switched off, for example, Windows thinks it's still on and it will still load Windows onto that switched off monitor, which is one of the reasons why this happens. But this, so this is how you can fix it. So what you do, hover over the window that's missing down on the uh, taskbar, and then on the title bit, right click, and you'll get a menu which appears behind the thumbnail. Thanks, Windows. <laughs> uh, so hover over that, and you'll see you've got a move option. Now, this is a bit of a trick here. So you need to click on move, click it once, but don't move the mouse. Click on move one time like this, and then click and hold the left mouse button again without moving it, and then move the mouse, and you can drag the window back on. If, now, I'll show you why you need to do that sort of single click, click and drag malarkey. What it is, if I do it again with the window visible, if you hover over its thumbnail, and you right click, and you select move, you'll notice that what it's done is put the mouse pointer up on the title bar of the window, which is why you can then left click and drag and you can drag it around. So that's why you do that. And that's how you get your hidden windows back if it happens to you. So I hope you found that useful. And until next time, thanks for watching.